Hi guys! So I recently went to the library. I've actually rediscovered my love for the library because I used to go all the time back when I didn't have a lot of room in my house for books and a lot of money to buy books and now that I have both I've kind of just been splurging on books all the time and I didn't like how consumerist, is that a word? consumerist it felt and it was just also kind of it eats away at your money you know so I thought I would start supporting my local libraries again by browsing when I had the chance and getting any books that I had on my TBR and you know checking out whatever else sounded interesting just to kind of open myself up to more book worlds and opportunities so I wanted to do this video to show off all of the amazing books that I got at the library during my most recent trip so the first one that caught my attention um, first of of all it's June so it's Pride Month and there was a big Pride Month not big but there were some Pride Month books on display near the YA section and so I got this book Felix Ever After I have been seeing this a lot on bookstagram and the cover is so beautiful and I've never read a book where it had a transgender main character and so I got this and I just started reading it today I'm on page 40 and it's really good so far. Um, I think that the conflict will be interesting for me to read about, again, because I've never read a book where the main character is transgender. So this will be maybe eye-opening for me, but I always really appreciate reading from different perspectives because it opens me up to the struggles that other people face that I may have never known about otherwise. By the way, a few of these are like bookstagram made me do it kind of things, but they also just sound good. Okay, so the next book I got is another YA, or it was also in the YA section. And as you can see, it has the new sticker on it. So there were quite a few like really great selections there that I wasn't expecting to see on the shelves. Um, but this is Fat Chance Charlie Vega, and this one I've also been seeing around Bookstagram. And again, the cover is really gorgeous. I love illustrations like these on covers, and the brightness of the cover also caught my eye. And Again, I'm just really trying to expose myself to books where the main character is from a marginalized group or, you know, not one that you typically read about. And so I wanted to continue that theme with this one and I am really excited to read this one. So yeah, I will read it and post my review on my bookstagram as per usual. This was kind of the last bookstagram made me do it type of thing. I've been seeing this a lot, particularly on like bookish reels where they recommend fantasies and stuff like that. Um, but this one is called Furyborn. This is a fantasy. And again, it just sounded really good. Here's the little um, blurb on the back that kind of caught my attention. It said, the gate will fall. You will know this time by the rise of two human queens, one of blood and one of light. Two queens will rise. They will carry the power of the seven. They will carry your fate in their hands. And that just sounds so good. I'm also a sucker for like the quotes from other authors on the back or reviewers and things like that. And it just sounds really amazing. I don't know. It sounds like the plot was really intriguing to me um, and I, I don't know, sometimes when I read YA fantasy, it just falls a little bit flat because it comes, like, it, it obviously it's not meant for me, I'm not a YA reader anymore, but I'm always expecting more than what the book gives me in terms of the intricacies of the plot and the characters, and so hopefully this one will deliver. Okay, next is a book that I got because it's been on my TBR list for a really long time. This one is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Again, with all these cover art and illustrations, like, so beautiful. I really love the colors on here. And this is one, again, it's been on my TBR for a long time, and I figure, you know, I should probably start reading those books that have been on my TBR list before I start to tackle any new reads and keep buying new releases because at this point it's just getting ridiculous. Like my book buying habit is out of control. And the last book I got, and I kind of got this because I wanted to have a variety of different genres available in case I got bored of reading one and I wanted something new. New. Maybe new is not the best word for me to use considering this one's a classic, um, but this one is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra Dumas. How's my French? Yeah, this one, I think like way back in high school when my classmates told me I need to read this book. And I am only 11 years too late, but here we go. This will be great. This is about, I don't know, 1200 pages, probably longer. I think it's a little bit longer. 
Um, let's see. Nope, it's longer. It's about 1400 pages. So this will obviously be my light reading for the summer. Yeah, I'm really excited. I don't know. I'm hoping that I can get to this in the time that I have left before it renews or before I have to return it. But if not, I'm going to try not to be too hard on myself given that I have so many other books on my TBR and so many others that I'm reading right now. But it just, it's been a while since I've read a classic. Um, no, that's not right. I just read Persuasion by Jane Austen and it just made me realize that I'm not reading classics as often as I used to like back in college. So I just kind of want to get back in that mindset of appreciating the classics for how beautifully they're written and how wonderfully the story is told. Side note, I don't know if it's just me, but I really like the way that these like plasticky covers feel and there's something so satisfying about reading a book while holding like the plastic cover in your hands. I don't know. Also, I love how thin these pages are too because again, they're just something satisfying to me about turning these really thin pages. Um, but that's just me. Those are like my bookish. What would you call it? Not really guilty pleasure because it's not a guilty pleasure. It's just more like uh, just bookish quirks, I guess. But I'm sure there are other people who feel the same way. And if you're one of them, let me know because we've just found each other. So that was my library haul. This is my current read. So not a library haul, but I did get it on thriftbooks.com for like $5. It's just, it's so fun to shop for books when you're not paying full price for them. Whether that's, you know, getting them from a thrift store or from a used bookshop or from the library. I'm just trying to kind of advocate for myself in terms of my wallet and the minimal amount of space left on my bookshelf. Like I really, I don't have justification to keep buying physical copies of books. I just don't. That is kind of why I did this huge library haul and why I plan on reading more library books instead of buying books or um, downloading them on my Kindle instead of, you know, having those physical copies. But yeah, let me know what your last library haul included or just let me know what the last book you bought was and I will see you guys for the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Bye guys.